Juicy. Mm. Hi, sweeties. Today we are going to air fry a whole turkey. That's right. That's right. I'm going to show you how to air fry a whole turkey. We're not deep frying with gallons and gallons of oil, but I'm going to show you how to air fry your turkey so that it comes out moist and delicious. Let's get into it. But first, subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. And now let's get into this air fried whole Thanksgiving turkey. You're going to need a large air fryer for this. This is an air fryer oven, the Ninja Foodie 10 in one pro air fryer oven and it will fit a whole turkey it's got to be a small turkey the turkey i'm using is about 11 and a half pounds i'm using the uh smart thermometer function on the chicken setting and it works like a charm you insert your temperature probe you preset it um on the chicken setting and it will uh, chicken and turkey they're going to both cook to about 165 degrees internally and you let the thermometer tell you when your turkey is ready to come on out the ninja foodie smart xl um, oven comes with a roasting pan a sheet pan that you use in combination with each other i'm going to line the sheet pan with foil and put the perforated roasting pan rack on top of that um, and that just saves a little bit of cleanup, so I just have to wash this one perforated pan. Now, my turkey has been seasoned inside, outside, upside down, under the skin, and it's been sitting in the refrigerator for about three days. That's right, well seasoned. It's got the neck there, we're gonna roast that as well. Pat off any excess moisture, that's very important to having a crisp skin. We're gonna remove excess moisture. And then I'm going to spray it generously, pretty generously with some oil. This is just a canola oil. You can use vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, any neutral flavored oil with a high smoke point. Stay away from butter, olive oil, because you can get a lot of smoking when you use those um, if you're using an air fryer oven. I'm going to cut off this little tail end. I'm still gonna roast it along with the turkey, but it's a little bit big. It's kind of hanging off the edge there. And um, we don't want anything hanging off the edge of our roasting pan. Take a little kitchen twine and tie the bird's legs together. That's about as much trussing as I'm going to do. Just tie the legs together at the ankles. And you see I've tucked the wings underneath the back and that's to help keep it more compact so it will fit inside the oven well roast evenly and the little wing tips won't burn our turkey is seasoned with my seasoned salt blend i'll put a link to that in the description box also product links all of that will be in the description box i've got the neck turkey neck on there the little turkey butt on there we insert the temperature probe into the thickest part of the turkey breast and then we'll pop it into our preheated air fryer oven. And we're gonna put it on this lower rack and now we just wait. <laughs> we make sure that it's not like rubbing up against the sides and everything. You can see that it's set to uh, let us know what the internal temperature is and the external temperature. Look at that, easy peasy. I have done nothing <laughs> up to this point. Uh, it's almost done. We got a few more minutes to go, but before it's done, I'm going to spritz it with some more oil just to make sure that that skin, the turkey skin, is nice and crispy. Got to have that crispy skin because we're trying to mimic a fried turkey taste. But did you hear that sound? It's, it's getting there. It's already crispy. I'm going to spritz it with a little more oil, put it back into the air fryer oven, and the temperature probe is in there. I actually reversed it, but you could put it in the same way. But look at that. See, now it's 161 degrees on the inside. And once it gets to 165, it lets us, the oven lets us know it's done. And you see, like, the little uh, thermometer thing that came with the turkey didn't pop. I don't think those are very reliable, but I have found the thermometer. Listen. Ooh, 
crispy. The thermometer on the Ninja Foodie ovens to be very, very reliable. All right, we're gonna do a crunch test. Listen to this. First, look at how crackly, it's, it's like turkey cracklings. And I'm gonna take a bite and listen to the crunch. Wow, yeah. We're gonna let this turkey rest before we carve it. And that's it. All done in our air fryer oven. This whole 11 and a half pound turkey took less than two hours to cook in our air fryer. Let's cut into it and make sure that it is done. <laughs> we don't wanna see any pink when we cut into this turkey. We'll start with the wing. Let's look in there. Oop, no pink, no pink. It's looking good already. Let's cut through. Oop, pardon me, there we go. Cut through and take a look, the juices. Mm. The juices, then we're gonna go and untie, and cut open these legs here and cut off the drumstick, the leg and the thigh. Just right through the joint there. No pink in there either. That's the big sign because you want the turkey breast to be cooked and juicy, but you also want the thigh to be cooked and juicy. So let's take a look inside. And this turkey is looking really good. Cooked all the way through. The breast is not overcooked. You can see there, nice and juicy. The thigh cooked well all the way through. Nice and juicy, and that is key. Let's get up close. I used the thermometer on the chicken setting. Beautiful. Juicy, look at that, in the thigh, cooked through. Look, right to the bone, perfect. Let's give it a taste. Let me cut a little piece off this here, thigh. Remember we let it sit in the fridge, seasoned up, it was about three days. Mmm. Mmm, that is good. Juicy, moist. Here's that piece of thigh that I cut before. Look at the juices, look at the juices. I'm sorry, this is a piece of the breast. My bad, this is a piece of the breast that I cut. Juicy. I'm trying to do this one-handed, eat and talk. I find the thermometer to be very accurate. I put the, the Ninja Foodi uh, professional, Ninja Foodi Pro oven, smart oven, air fry oven, <laughs> comes with that thermometer and it's accurate. Nothing is underdone, nothing is overdone. Mm. So my sound dropped out, started acting funny. We're gonna taste the chicken wing. Oh my gosh. Look, the happy dance. <laughs> I'm super happy with the way that this turkey came out, especially the wings. The wings are my favorite part, and I wanted it to be nice and crispy, and you know, as close to a fried turkey, because fried turkey is my favorite. And this, especially the wing, is very close to a fried turkey. Really, really good. So I'm happy with it. You get that fried turkey sort of crisp, well seasoned, you're not using gallons of oil. You will need a large air fryer oven if you wanna do a whole turkey. I use the Ninja Foodi uh, 10 in one Pro Smart Oven. There are some other large air fryer ovens on the market, I just haven't tried them personally myself, but I'll put a link to some um, choices in the description box, so please check that before you go. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up. My thumbs are now covered in turkey juices. <laughs> Hit that notification bell. And y'all have a delicious day.